Greetings and welcome back. We are playing Alpha Centauri. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to put a farm there. And let's get ourselves out of this uh, effervescent lake we got there. So, forest expands, good. Alright. And I think we'll just uh, put him on alert for the moment. Same with you. And we'll try and get you down here. If we should pummel, pummel through this fungus to get there, maybe. Okay, so got rid of the fungus there. I'm going to plant more forest. And I'm going to... Ooh, hang on. Rolling an arid. With farm, with mine too, with solar one. I don't know whether I want to put a farm there, so we'll just move on. And we'll put a forest here. Do we have a road there yet? And I don't, so we'll put a road there. Okay, yeah, so the graphic's exactly the same with or without fungus, so that's kind of confusing. But we'll definitely throw a mine on there by hitting M. More force expansion. Life is merely an orderly decay of energy states, and survival requires the continual discovery of new energy to pump into the system. He who controls the sources of energy controls the means of survival. CEO Nwabuda K. Morgan, the Centauri Monopoly. Okay, so we got our first energy bank. And that's uh, helping us out considerably. And not so much here, actually. Um, well, we got a bit more, I think. Yeah, I think that was three before, so that's uh, helping us. Um, I could go for a kelp farm, unless we already have one. Aqua farm we got. Okay, a tree farm. Let's do a tree farm. We do have lots of food here, so... Uh, once we get the food established, everything else sort of grows nicely, so... Go for that. Um... I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't actually. Maybe I'll build another unit or two out of here. Um, yeah, see, our attack's only two, and uh, Santiago has four now. So we really got to get our uh, military up. I am researching military right now, so that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll get some naval units happening. Uh, laser gate. Uh, laser foil has a bit better defense. Well, might as well go for the laser foil then. Yeah, we we'll get a couple of naval units out here. Technological advance is an inherently iterative process. One does not simply take sand from the beach and produce a data probe. We use crude tools to fashion better tools, and then our better tools to fashion more precise tools, and so on. Each minor refinement is a step in the process. And all of the steps must be taken. Chairman Shen Jiang, looking God in the eye. Okay, so that gives us heavy artillery, which we'll look at the unit in a second here. And it also increases probe team base morale. Uh, I'm guessing if you have a probe team fortified in one of your cities, it helps the morale of the base. I'm thinking that's how that works. Okay, so let's have a look at. So now we have a recon battery. So, um, artillery. So, plus 25% mobile in open. And I believe these can. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how that works now with the artillery. Oh, we'll find out once we get there. Uh, as far as uh, how close you got to be to units, I don't think that there's any ranged units really in this game. You can't go two tiles to shoot at something other than unless it's a uh, a plane or something. I'm not sure. We'll find out that when we get uh, further in, I guess. Okay, uh, hub complex. We're going to need this pretty soon. Uh, supply crawlers are good too. Uh, wealth. We can actually build wealth. I think maybe. But hab complex, uh, yeah, that increase. I think we can only go to size seven on our, uh, our bases right now, and uh, without the hab complex, we can't get any bigger. But I don't think we're quite there yet, so we can maybe wait on that a bit. Uh, police state, uh, that's a social engineering thing. 
Command next is perimeter defense. This is the thing she, uh, the Deidre wanted to give us. And I wasn't just willing to do any trades for that. Plasma steel armor. Um, planetary energy grid. Sea energy. Uh, so much to choose from. I guess maybe I should keep going with the biology labs. Uh, keep the science going. Okay, we'll do that Production for now. Complete. And we now have a probe team. Okay, so these are basically a spy unit. I might actually build a few of these. Because uh, they tend to get picked off real quick. So maybe I'll build another one at least. Oh. Oh, there he is. Okay. So I'll build another one. I guess I didn't have to come in there and do that. That would have just built one automatically. But we definitely got to get some kelp farms in here too. Production complete. And a bit of children's crash. And got to get more kelp farms in there as well. So stockpile energy. No, let's maybe look at an aqua farm. Because I think I got a, a, a farmer right there right now. Yep. Yeah. So he's going to finish up shortly. So we'll get the aqua farm next. Okay, let's bring you down. See what we can find out before we go in and do our attack. And I'm going to drop this uh, alien artifact right there. Disembark. Okay, we'll get that over and plug it into our network node. I think we got one in here. Better. Yep. And I don't know whether... Did I use it? That's what I'm not sure on. I don't know whether I still have something plugged in. Again, I started three games of this before I actually settled on this one because of YouTube's crap. And I'm not sure just what game I did what in earlier. Um, I think maybe I'll take you to sort of explore this this area up there. Okay, we'll remove the fungus. Oh, that's land. Okay, can't go on that. More forest expansion. Okay, I'll come up to about there. Terraform complete. Okay, so we got a farm in a road. Might as well throw a solar on it. Get at least one more energy off that. Alpha Centauri B is approaching Peripholon. For the next 20 years, expect native activity to increase dramatically. Great. Production complete. And we have a laser foil. You know what? I might build one more. And we'll just maybe bring him out here. We'll explore that a bit. See if we can circle around the university a bit and learn a bit more about them. Uh, maybe just come sit there. Terraform complete. Okay, I'll put a solar collector there. Improvement yeah. already exists. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Okay, so... Uh, I don't have a, I just noticed, a sensor array. So I'm going to throw one on that forest right there. And there we go. So there's the uh, the first kelp farm. And we're not growing here. So I'm going to actually sacrifice one production to go there. There we go. And I'm going to build a couple more. Maybe we'll get rid of this fungus here first. So F to do that. Production complete. Okay, another energy bank. That's looking a lot better. All right, what should we get out of here? Got eight production, that's actually pretty good. Tree farm? Yeah, maybe we'll do a tree farm. That'll help some food in there as well. And we'll put our sensor array there by hitting O. Terraform complete. And another forest done there. Let's see if I can't put a farm on that. Production complete. Another laser foil. Those are actually coming pretty quick. 
All right, so and before I do anything, yeah, I think we'll do the uh, tree farm now. All right, and too bad there wasn't sea monoliths so we can upgrade these at sea, but oh well. Yeah, I kind of want to keep these somewhat handy. I don't want to go too far exploring with them. Bot recovered. Okay, we can get the tree farm at Cheap Plains next turn. So it basically took us one turn to build that. Excellent. And there's our probe team. Unfortunately, you're going to have to go through a whole bunch of fungus to get in here. I don't know how they handle fungus. Okay. Okay, that tidal harness is done. And, um, yeah, we'll put, build a kelp farm on top of it. Okay, so all that's done. And um, we'll get that, rid of that little bit of fungus there. Put a road on Terraform that. Complete. But recovered. Oh, another one. Excellent. Okay, we'll bring you home then. Forest expands. Good. Production complete. And we built that tree farm in one turn. Excellent. <laughs> okay, lots of food now. So this place is going to grow. So we're going to have to get those hab complexes pretty quick. I'm just noticing. We're already at size 6 here. Our uh, home base is size 5. So it's coming up that we're going to need those hab complexes. So that'll be my next research. And what should we do here? Uh, how's our labs in here? Ooh, not bad. I could probably use another lab boost. Uh, research hospital. I got to kind of watch. Complete. I got to kind of watch how many uh, facilities I build too, because that kind of ruins our economy if we go too crazy on facilities. So I might have to back off here at some point. And once we get stuff built up, I can put a few cities on just collecting energy. So that'll help our economy. Okay, so another energy bank done. Good. Uh, not so great here, though. I don't know why I built that here. I'm not sure why I decided to build that there. All right, whatever. Um... Uh, colony pods. Can we stick another colony out here anyway? I guess I still, I still got room over here. Yeah, I could do something over here. So maybe I'll build another colony pod. Although this place isn't growing all that fast, is it? I might just leave this on stockpile energy for now. Um, I don't want to use up too many more minerals at the moment. I think we got a fair amount of troops. I just get the feeling I can upgrade a few things, unfortunately. So I might have to pull some things back. Yeah, throw a road on that. Yeah, I like to spam roads. Just makes it easier later. Remove that fungus. That's kind of weird they got that stuck out in the middle of nowhere. There might be a city here I don't know about. There might be a city like right there. Because even though this terrain's lit up, it doesn't actually mean I can see it. Actually, what I'll do just to show you what the uh, map preference is. Let's put the fog of war on just for a sec. Okay, there's the fog of war. It doesn't look too bad to me right now playing, but I know it looks really, really ugly on the final recording. But yeah, you can see this actually gives us an idea of what we can actually see right now. And I'm betting there's a there's a base right there. So I'm going to pop that back off anyways. Uh, map preferences. Okay. So yeah, I suspect there's a city right there. So we'll have to deal with that. Okay, so um, I guess we'll just maybe do a little bit of exploring with these guys. Not a huge amount. Bot recovered. Uh, got a map out of it. Yeah. 
Kelp expands. Production complete. Another probe team, so I guess we'll switch that up now. I just noticed they don't cost they don't cost anything. Wow, I could spam a massive amount of those then. <laughs> if you're not if you have a city idle not knowing what to build, just build a bunch of those maybe. Well, I'm just going to build the two for now. Uh, because if they are successful, they do return back to their home base. So I might get up overrun with them if I go too crazy. Uh, aqua farm, probably a good idea. 14 turns, we'll go for that. Because I think we got to... Yeah, we're going to have some kelp farms here. So we'll Production do that. Complete. And children's crush. Okay, so four minerals, one food. So we definitely need some food in here. I'm not sure how close I am to getting kelp farms over here, though. I guess I could build another sea former. That's only nine turns. We can disband these later if we find out we have too many. So we'll do that. And we'll maybe get the water improved here. Okay. Uh... Yeah, get rid of the fungus, hitting F. And we'll throw you in here. Link it to our network node. We've made wondrous discoveries. Observe the racer beak as it tends so carefully to the fungal blooms. Just the right bit from the yellow, then a swatch from the pink. Follow the glow mites as they gather and organize the fallen spores. What higher order guides their work? Mark my words. Someone or something is managing the ecology of this planet. Lady Deidre Sky, Planet Dreams. So we get a little bit of a hint here at just the what's going on in this planet. I won't say too much more about it right now, but uh, yeah, someone or something is managing the eco ecology of this planet. So that's kind of a significant thing as far as the storyline goes, I think. Uh, again, I haven't been through the whole game, so I'm not sure what the... Uh, the actual end story is I've had it explained to me a couple times but uh... so unit advances we can now build mind worms very cool empath song I'm not even sure what that is I didn't put song build oh it's an ability for our units oh okay sounds good uh, empath guild I think that's a wonder Allows you to contact any leader. Okay, so this will give us contact with all the leaders. And we also get plus 50% votes in elections for planetary governor. That's uh, going to be kind of important, I think. Uh, leads to some more. And green. Road can now, roads can now be built in fungus squares. Well, I think I've pretty much eliminated all them at this point. But okay. And an interlude from planet. Let's see if I can get through this one without uh, screwing it up. Okay, reporting prime function. The young functionary stands stiffly at attention. Born in the early years of Planetfall, she belongs to a generation which knows Earth as only a distant legend. Alpha Talent, I have a special assignment for you, you say, fixing your, her with your intense stare. These samples must be taken to Dr. Gamma Thinker at Mew, at Mew Crescent. Uh, see to it personally. You hand her a lead line security case. The, cri the crypto pack inside contains the stuff of nightmares, mind worm specimens, viable specimens, captured and preserved at the cost of, oh, I can't quite read that, of untold lives. Gamma Thinker's team, Gamma Thinker's team have studied the recent mind worms upsurge and claim that the worms, worm boils act as sort of a regu regu regulator for planet's ecology. Human settlement is disrupting the native ecosystem, and the mindworms are swarming like the kind of like the kind of ecological antibody. Uh, Gamma Thinker has also reached even more ominous conclusion. With modern bio bio biology lab facilities, mindworms could easily be bred in captivity and used in horrifying weapons against other human factions. At once, Prime Function Alpha Alpha Talent says, stepping backwards into the access access way. Uh, if efficient, competent, and far better disciplined than the use of the 21st century, you left behind. It's kind of hard to read right there. <laughs> um, Alpha, Alpha Talent has grown up in a world uh, fraught with very real dangers. Terrifying dangers once the elusive province of the same manner of legends. Ooh, I think I'm reading that wrong. 
Terrifying dangers once the elusive province of the same manner of legends and tales of which Earth itself is now consigned. And again, I'm not the best at reading out loud, so apologies for that. So a bit more hint of what's going on. Um, I won't say any more about that until later. Okay, so we have another probe team ready to go, so we're going to bring you down. And I think I'm just going to put you on alert there, Shift L. Yeah, maybe we can get rid of this. Uh oh, maybe not. <laughs> Shall we put him through? Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll just close the channel. We aren't talking today, thank you. Okay, so they do definitely have another another base right here. I'm certain of it. So they have more than one base for sure. Um. So I'm almost wondering if we shouldn't come in here. But one thing I wouldn't mind doing is maybe getting some mind worms constructed. And we can sort of pepper them in this fungus area. And they move quickly through fungus too. So if, uh, if we got troops coming up this way, we can uh, sort of flank around them and uh, come, up, come up at them this way. Uh, do I want to wait that long is the question. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, let's see if we can put a road the improvement there. Improvement nope. already exists. Okay, so we'll pull out here, get, get rid of that fungus there, and what's this looking like? So that looks like a better farming location, so we'll do that. More forest. Um, let's come down here and let's maybe finish up some roads. Get all these places connected, maybe. Oh, there's somebody on this. Yep. Who do we have over here? Enemy project initiated. The Empath Guild. Well, oh, there goes probe team number one. And like I said, that's a common thing for them to get killed if you don't uh, take the right path to something. Okay, now I need, and it's not here, <laughs> hab complexes, but it looks like that's uh, shadowed by other stuff at the moment. So I guess we'll just uh, concentrate on, ooh, C energy particle impactor, which is another weapon. And we'll go for that. There are two kinds of scientific progress. The methodical experimentation and categorization which gradually extend the boundaries of knowledge and the revolutionary leap of genius which redefines and transcends those boundaries. Acknowledging our debt to the former, we yearn nonetheless for the latter. Academician Prokhor Zaharov, address to the faculty. Okay, um, somehow we got two technologies here. Or maybe... Is it yeah, this is one I just selected. I uh, must have got a free one or had leftover science or something. I'm not sure what happened there, but we'll take it. And we have new units. Impact rovers. Four, one, and two. Finally, we get something with some firepower. That's kind of what I was waiting for. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to take all these back to upgrade them to a base. I don't think we can do that in the field. So, uh, there's that. And we also have an impact skim ship, so we can upgrade our uh, our Navy stuff as well. Impact battery, can upgrade our artillery, trans impact squad. Okay, so lots of stuff happening. And here's our HAB complex, is what I was looking for. Okay, so we'll grab that now. Excellent. So yeah, we got to look at maybe... Uh, getting these guys upgraded. And unfortunately, it looks like either... Yeah, here or here are the closest two, I think. Because we've got to go around all this fungus here. Uh, unless we went through it, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Eh, it's just as far. doesn't matter which way we go, I guess. So let's do the speeders first because they move quicker. So maybe we'll just bring you guys back this way. Oh yeah, you're going to go all the way around that way. 
Uh, I guess it's quicker. It wouldn't have uh, distance six. It says in that uh, little bit of text there. So it saves us. A, it actually saves us a turn going up and around that way. I guess. All right, off you go. And we'll do the same thing with you. Now I think we also have upgrades for these, but I'll get the speeders done first. And actually, I might bring one more over. I'll grab this one. Pop you in here and promote you. Or upgrade you. So control you, I believe. Nope. Oh, we got it. We need a full turn in order to upgrade units. So I guess we'll hit spacebar to skip a turn. And we'll move some more fungus. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get some roads done so we can get these places all connected up. I think that's kind of important at this point. So we'll go there. We'll hit road. R for road. Uh, these apparently are really good for energy, if I recall. Oh, well, maybe not. Hmm. I kind of thought though, there is a buff to that, I thought. Is it just nutrients? I don't think so. Uh, I'm not sure on that. I thought there was some kind of... Uh... Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let's bring you, okay, you're building another sea former there, so let's get some production going here. Now, it's the only thing with sea, uh, sea colonies is you've got to build mines everywhere around them, uh, or you just don't get any production in here. So you get nothing but food right here. And I could almost back that off to there. And yeah, we'll do that. Next citizen in seven turns, perfect, so we'll go mine that one there. Hit M. Okay, Le Lady Deidre is on channel four, so let's switch to main view screen. Blah 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 blah. blah. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Uh, heard rumors of an alien race living here on planet led by one called Mar. Well, you've been fighting him. <laughs> is this true? Yeah, I've not been able to locate him since hearing this rumor. Oh, so she wants a bit of information off me to find out exactly where he is. I bet you she doesn't know yet. She just all she knows is she's at war with him because that's. It's kind of the, the default stance with them. So she doesn't actually know where they are. I could betray them and give her the information. Uh, interested in meeting such a being and finding out what makes him tick. If you have his calm frequency, I could offer you 80 credits for it. Um, I, could, I guess I could do it. If they go to peace, that's fine, I guess. Um... Yeah, all right, do it. I must caution you that my engineers, blah, 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 three res central prototypes, so her defensive units are a bit better now. She's got three on the defense. Okay, information on planetary networks could prove useful to my envir environmental initiatives. Can you transmit it to, a, to me as a personal favor? Again, science stuff. Uh, intellectual pr integrity. What's that? Intellectual integrity, high morale, non-lethal uh, methods, the citizens' defense force. I just got this tech myself, and I do kind of want to build this. So I'm going to turn this deal right down. I think uh, your fabricated lies tell will get you nowhere. I find your unwillingness to cooperate disturbing. Okay. Uh, your planned economics are wasteful. More to the point, your ballooning population is inefficient. Polluting industry will soon cause permanent damage to planet's fragile environment. I am sure you will. You, I'm sure your concerns are humanitarian in nature, but in the long run, your people will benefit from carefully regulating green economy. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think we're done here. Before I tick her off and uh, go to war or something. <laughs> So I think I'll bring these back and get them upgraded. I don't think there's better designs for these, so we'll keep going with those. Well, recovered. Swept away by a tidal wave. And we ended up over here. And the best part of that is you get all your movement back when this happens, so you can move again. Ooh, lots of fungus here. 
All right, so we're approaching the end of our half hour. I gotta get you home, actually. You got a, you got a, an artifact on you. Okay, since we have the calm frequencies of all other leaders, you now wish to convene the Planetary Council <clears throat> to vote upon uh, planetary policies, uh, including the election of planetary governor. To convene the council, use con the council button in the calm link status. I know all? There's only four here. There should be two more. Select a motion to propose. Select planetary governor. Okay. Uh, looks like Deidre has 71 votes. And you know what? I Oh, yes, that's right. There's been some elimination. So I guess this is all that's left in the game. Oh, and the two aliens. Ah, okay. I guess the two aliens don't factor into Planetary Council. Interesting. Okay. Um, so 32 votes is all we have. And she has 71. So I don't think it matters what I do. She's going to win this. I could either vote for her or just abstain. Um, I don't know how many votes I have. That's, hang on a second. Oops. That matter's too important for me to change my position. Oh, okay. Uh, 32 votes. Yeah, I'm not going to win it anyways, but uh, I'm just looking here. Yeah, she's going to get it anyways, so maybe I'll just vote for myself. I could abstain as well, but I'll vote for myself. Why not? And Deidre elected, of course. Okay. So what we could do to actually improve that is uh, get on better terms with uh, the other factions. And then they'll start voting for us. So unfortunately, that gives her a bit of a boost in some stuff. I'm not exactly sure what, but uh, yeah, that's uh, going to be an issue. Okay, so uh, control U to upgrade. And we can upgrade it to Impact Rover 4, 1, and 2. And we will make the upgrade. 307 credits available. It cost us 50 to do it. So, And speaking of uh, money. Oh, we're getting better. Only minus one a year. But like I said, I could put a couple cities on just uh, collecting energy. And uh, that would help that. But regardless, I think we're at our half hour at this point. So I'm going to call this one to a close. And... Uh, We'll get our units upgraded next episode, and maybe we'll come down and see about hammering on the university a bit. I'm not really interested in taking them right out at the, this point, as long as I uh, kind of maybe take out some of their satellite cities and uh, slow down their uh, research efforts is all I'm looking to do here. Or we could take them out. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. So if you're still with me, thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.